I just thought I'd talk very briefly about the, um, people keep asking me if it's worth buying the cleanse offs. Um, they're really good. They don't drag the skin um, like sometimes flannels can, but manage to clean inside the pores really gently. They're made of like a um, really fine bamboo, so they don't um, hold bacteria as much. Um, so they're known as being called a clean sponge. Um, so you can hold in a lot or very little water. Um, and I always find that just to dump them a bit, squeeze it out. And then sometimes just doing your first cleanse with it on its own. I mean, all I've had on today is a tinted moisturiser and SPF. But if you, they're even like delicate enough to wear around, the, uh, wash around the eyes. So if you had, um, I mean, I haven't got any eye makeup on. Um, but if you had eye makeup on, you can spritz on your um, eye makeup remover and sweep it as well. So it's really good for cleaning the uh, the eye area and you know, there's just no tugging or dragging of the skin but those fine little fibres manage to clean in the pores. Now that's just my <laughs> tinted moisturiser and SPF coming off there. So then I would rinse that off and then I would put my cleanser on which is my good old nighttime cleanser way to go with having an oilier skin. Just form that up a bit. And then I'll use the other side to see if we get off anything else. So I dread to think, well, I mean, I've, I've seen, but you can imagine what how much it's going to take off with makeup. So I'm going to use the other side that is completely clean to see if it takes off anything else that the cleanser has picked up than the first one that was with water. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how much it did remove without the cleanser. I'll have plenty of these in stock now. They are four pound from the salon. So a little tinge, but not much. Very, very little. So, what we got off without the cleanser and then going over with the cleanser. So I feel a little bit like I've had a double cleanse with that. 